everyone, welcome back to another Connecting Your Creativity. I'm Alex and this week we will be making woodland ornaments. All right everyone, so for this project you will need a blank Christmas tree ornament, preferably clear. You will need white, tan, black, and brown acrylic paint, um, preferably matte. You will need a medium-sized paintbrush, like this one, and a thin one, like this one. You will need felt for the ears and a pencil to stencil on the eyes. All right, let's get started. So to begin this process, we're going to remove the top of our ornament and set this to the side. And then we're either going to wipe down our bulbs with um, rubbing alcohol or soap and water and thoroughly drying them. Um, I have already done this with this one. So we can move on. Now we're going to take our brown, our tan, our white, and our black, and we're going to put them on a separate um, surface, preferably a plastic one. And we're going to mix our tan with our white to create a nice cream color that I have here. So we're gonna take the tan and a little bit of white and mix that together. And then we're gonna take our bulb and we're going to evenly coat the entire thing. Try to get it nice and even and cover all the surface area on the ornament. I like to keep my lines going all the same direction too, but that's really up to you. However you choose to go about this. All right, almost done. All right, so this is what your bulb should look like at this point. You wanna smooth out any lumps and bumps in your paint. And then we're going to set and let this dry and I will see you back. All right, our bulbs are completely dry. So now we're gonna go in with another coat of this paint. This nice cream color to give it a nice solid finish. And this one doesn't have to be as heavy as the first one. It's just making sure that all the surface area is completely covered. And you want to try to minimize the streaking.
All right, so we're gonna set this aside again to dry and we will be back in a bit. All right, everyone, so at this point, our bulb should be looking nice and solid in this nice cream color. And then we're going to take our pencil and we're gonna start stenciling where the, the tan part should go. So we're going to start by making two vertical lines for the, the bridge of the nose. And it should look like this. And then we're going to go a round shape here. And connect it with this this vertical line. So we're going to start here, we're going to go up and around, we're going to go all the way down the bulb and kind of create this face shape and this is the bridge of the nose. And we're going to bring that bridge down a little bit further like this. And then we can take our tan, just our straight tan paint right here. And we're going to start filling in where we stenciled. We're going to do so very carefully, not to go outside the lines. And you're going to want to bring this brown color up the ornament's most upper part. And we can fill in this brown all the way around. Where we marked, where we stenciled out the face. And don't worry about making it super perfect. We can clean it up with additional paint later. This is like the main fur, that main brown that you usually see in deer.
Okay, that's a good first layer. And we're gonna let that dry. And it should look something like this. We're gonna let it dry and then we'll add another layer. My bulb is really dry, so we can go ahead and go in with our second coat in this color, this tan color. To make it more even and more solid. And being careful again to kind of stay in those lines that we made earlier. And we just gotta finish up the face. And at this stage, you want to also kind of clean up any mistakes you made along the way. So I'm going to fill this mistake in and I'm going to clean up my lines a little bit in this cream color. All right, and once again, we're going to let this dry and we will be back. At this point, we should have something that looks like this. And then we can start stenciling the face. So I'm going to pick the nose and I'm going to put it here. And it's going to be kind of like a mushroom shape. It's gonna be like oval on top but with a, with a small stem at the bottom. And then we're gonna draw the eyes. And so for the eye, you wanna make an arch. And then you're gonna make another one going the opposite way and kind of connect them together. We can do the same on this side. this and then we can start coloring them in with the black so 
So we're going to take one of our smaller brushes really thin one and we're going to go straight into our black and we're going to start with the nose And again, you want to make sure that this is an even application and that you're staying within your lines during this part. And now I'm going to go on to the eyes. and the other eye. And then we can do our second layer on the nose. And then I'm going to go back in on the first eye I drew and, f and add a second layer and fill it in some more. And then on to the last eye, giving that a second layer. And 
And then for the eyelashes, you can pick whichever um, you'd like. You can use a pencil, a marker, or you can find an even thinner brush. And we're going to add in some eyelashes. And with this thinner brush, you can also go in and just kind of tidy up any lines. We're going to add a second layer onto our eyelashes. And then with our same smallest brush, we're going to add in some white highlights on the nose, on top, just a straight line and a dot. So a straight line and a little dot here. And we're also going to add some white dots on the face. Then we're going to add some catch lights at her eyes. And our bulb should look something like this. And while this dries, we're going to set this off to the side. And we're going to clear our table. And we're going to take our piece of felt. scissors and a pencil and we're going to stencil out some ears so the ears should look something like this
and we can go back in with our medium sized paintbrush, a little bit of white, and a little bit of our tan to make that nice cream color that we started as the base of the coat. And then we can paint our felt to kind of give it some more dimension to show that it's, it's her ear. And we're going to let that dry. And when it dries, we can begin cutting it out. And you can use your ornament as kind of like a guide. For the ears. And we can cut out the other ear using the, the other ear that we have already cut out as a stencil so that both ears are the same. Awesome, and then it's time to kind of, and then we're going to kind of fold these back a little. Because at the very, very bottom, we kind of made room for these tabs. And I'm just going to go back in with another layer of this cream color. All right, so at this point we can start adding our glue where we think the ear should go. So here and here. Add some glue and glue it on. And we're going to press and hold this for about 30 seconds to make sure that it's on there nicely. And then we're going to do the same thing with the other ear.
we're going to press and hold. And then we're going to add our top back in our ornament, and that should be it. Alright everyone, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and I'll see you next week for another Connecting with Creativity. Bye!